Forget lithium fires and charging anxiety. Imagine zooming down the highway in a silent zero-mission beast, powered by freaking air. Tesla who? This revolutionary new electric car ditches the battery entirely and harnesses the very atmosphere to take you further than ever imagined. But is it a game-changer or a sci-fi pipe dream? In this video, we are about to peel back the hood on this revolutionary technology, expose the potential pitfalls, and answer the burning questions everyone's asking about it. So stick around until the end, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel first. NIO, often called China's counterpart to Tesla, is making waves in the electric vehicle domain. Unlike other American EV manufacturers, NIO offers a distinctive feature. Quick stop battery swapping, eliminating the need for time-consuming recharges. Recently, NIO celebrated a significant milestone by completing its 30 millionth battery swap showcasing its remarkable pace of progress. Crazy, right? Mio is now the big cheese in the battery-swapping world. Last October, they blew everyone's minds by live-streaming their 30 million battery swap. That's over 60,000 swaps happening daily. That's not just fast. It's faster than refilling gas in a regular car. Why is this such a big deal? It shows a real demand for swapping batteries among folks who prefer overcharging especially for long road trips, ride-sharing, commercial EVs, and delivery trucks. And let's talk money. Swapping saves you cash up front. Here's the lowdown. When your EV needs a boost, you swing by a swapping station, exchange your drain battery for a fully charged one, and bam, you're good to go in a few minutes. It started in Asia, but has now taken off in Europe, especially in Norway. They're really into EVs, holding the record for the most per person. So, it's no shocker that Norway is the first European country to embrace NEO's battery swapping tech. But swapping isn't meant to replace regular charging. It's more like a sidekick, making things easier. Charging an EV usually takes forever, right? Well, swapping knocks that down to just 3 to 5 minutes, making it super convenient for drivers who want a speedy recharge without lifting a finger. Now let's break down NEO's journey to its 30 million battery swap, highlighting its growth and strategy. To utilize NEO's battery swap stations, your EV needs an easy swap design. NEO didn't invent battery swapping, but it's the top dog in this game today. Hitting 30 million swaps is a colossal achievement, but what's truly remarkable is how swiftly NEO got there. Cast your mind back to May 2018 when NEO set up its first ever battery swap station in Shenzhen, China. That was a solid five years ago. Back then, battery swapping was unfamiliar, and EV owners were doubtful. But things changed rapidly. Late forward two years to 2020, NEO notched its own millionth swap. By 2022, it had zoomed to its ninth millionth, hitting the 10 million mark just a month later. April 2023 saw NEO crossing the 20 million swap, followed by the recent 30 millionth milestone. With NEO's third gen swap stations, customers can switch their batteries in a quick three minutes tops. By October, NEO had nearly 2,000 battery swap stations in China with 574 along highways. They're on track to add another thousand by year-end. Initially, NEO handed out free swaps to entice customers. The idea was to make battery swapping preferable to recharging. However, in June this year, NEO slashed prices across its entire model lineup by $4,100, transitioning the free swap service into a paid option. These battery swapping stations, known as power swap stations, are strategically positioned across China and boast advanced robotics tech. Let's learn about NEO's subscription-based service and its strides toward sustainability while highlighting some challenges faced along the way. NEO's Battery as a Service (BAS) program adds an interesting twist. They offer an EV without a battery, allowing customers to slash the upfront cost significantly. Instead of buying the battery outright, subscribers pay a monthly fee for it. They can easily swap these batteries at any NEO power swap station. This innovative approach has clicked with customers, lowering the barrier to entry and drawing in more users. This business model isn't just innovative, it's been quite the magnet for customers. NEO's commitment to sustainability further enhances its appeal. They're all about using renewable energy to power their battery swapping stations, reducing their carbon footprint. Moreover, NEO goes the extra mile by providing round the clock customer support for all battery swapping needs. These commitments have played an essential role in NEO's success story. However, like any company, NEO faces challenges. Their sales haven't kept pace despite employing about 11,000 people in research and development. 
Between April and June 2023, they sold only around 8,000 cars monthly. This discrepancy raises eyebrows. Their heavy investments in automation, particularly in employing robots, might be a part of the equation. Mio's factories showcase this disparity. With one employing only 30 technicians, capable of producing a whopping 300,000 electric car motors annually due to heavy reliance on automation. While this efficiency level is impressive, it also highlights the imbalance between investments made and returns generated. NEO doesn't just offer electric cars. They provide $350 augmented reality glasses for every vehicle seat. Additionally, they've introduced a cell phone that interacts with the car's self-driving system, a tech move even Apple has only fantasized about. They've been at the forefront of technological innovation, but here's the kicker. None of these flashy features have translated into profits. NEO faced a colossal setback, losing a staggering $835 million in the second quarter of 2023. That's an average loss of $35,000 per car considering their average price surpasses $42,000. It's a substantial financial hit. How does NEO manage to stay afloat despite such massive losses? Well, like many other players in China's booming EV sector, NEO has a powerful backer, the government. Back in 2020, when NEO was nearly bankrupt, a local government stepped in and injected a jaw-dropping $1 billion for a 24% stake in the company. On top of that, a state-controlled bank led a consortium that poured an additional $1.6 billion into the company to keep it running. Fast forward to today, NEO is facing challenges again. The burning question remains, can NEO sell enough cars to balance out its heavy spending on research and development? Only time will open up that mystery. Currently, NEO's success seems propped up by substantial government backing and seemingly limitless funding. It isn't unique to NEO. Other players in China's EV market are also trudging forward despite facing significant financial setbacks. The real test for NEO lies in its ability to convert sales into profits amidst its ongoing struggle with substantial investments and immense losses. NEO isn't the only Chinese EV player getting government support. Take Xpeng, for instance. They've also acknowledged assistance from the government. However, there's one standout among the Chinese contenders, BYD. Unlike its counterparts, BYD is making profits. In the first half of this year, they raked in a hefty $1.5 billion. What's interesting is that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway backs BOED. Now, let's talk competition. NEO might be ruling the battery swapping market, but it's not alone in the game. There's Tesla, for example. Tesla had a different approach way back in 2013. They showcased a battery swap in their Model S, aiming for lightning-fast swaps similar to refueling a gas car. Initially, it looked like a game-changer but the idea lost its spark over time. Elon Musk admitted they were late to the battery swapping scene due to other priorities. Tesla did set up one facility, but didn't pursue it vigorously. Interestingly, years later, a Tesla spokesperson clarified their stance. They believe EV charging is the superior way to power their cars, criticizing battery swapping for various flaws and arguing it's not ideal for widespread use. Tesla isn't the lone critic. Others have pointed out that the unique design of each automaker's batteries is closely tied to their specific vehicle structures, making widespread adoption of battery swapping quite challenging. So while companies like NEO and Xpeng are capitalizing on government support and battling it out in the EV space, Tesla took a different route, prioritizing EV charging over battery swapping, citing various technical challenges associated with the latter. Creating a one-size-fits-all battery swapping system isn't as simple as it sounds. Each battery's easy removal and installation design varies significantly, making it far more complex. Imagine the logistical nightmare of stations needing to store and service thousands of batteries simultaneously. It sounds impractical, right? A major concern for many eyeing a Tesla is the battery's lifespan and replacement costs. EV batteries decay at different rates, with replacement costs ranging from $5,000 to $20,000, depending on their capabilities. Factors like charging habits, driving conditions, and more impact battery degradation. Tesla estimated their batteries to outlast the car, but they come with warranties of 8 years or 100,000 to 150,000 miles. Tesla's pursuit of better batteries led to the 4680 battery pack, promising higher energy capacity, improved chemistry, and reduced production costs. While these advancements are exciting, the challenge of battery improvement remains critical for all EV makers due to the battery's weight and cost. 
As for battery swapping, it's a debated topic. While it's convenient, its widespread adoption faces hurdles due to the uniqueness of each battery and the logistical challenges involved. Tesla initially dabbled in battery swapping, but focused on advancing EV charging infrastructure. So, how do you feel about battery swapping? Does it influence your EV purchase decision? Should other automakers join the battery swap service bandwagon? Your thoughts matter. Share them in the comments. If you found this helpful info, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights.